God. Trick or treat. I prefer treat. <gasps> that man got robbed. Yeah, Mokes. Thank you for the tier one sub. Okay, I'm in danger. I, I do not have ammo. Jesus, Qui-Gon Jim. I get it, I killed you, you're mad about that, but God. Actually, I wonder how good uh, Anvil Receiver is. Anvil Receiver super boosts damage. for the single fire shot. I think they'll literally one shot zombies. We'll find out. I probably I probably should have used the fly line a little bit more guaranteed. Gasma or Gamooks. Gosh, your name is so odd. Thank you for gifting a sub to Firehawk. It's so weird. I have Streamlabs OBS now. Um, but the placement of the chat, I'm so used to it on my left monitor rather than on my right monitor. I think I'll just have to keep the chat up on that side. Anvil makes it do 34 damage. We'll find out. Um, now that I have a wingman, it doesn't even really matter. Because I can just use the wingman. The wingman fires faster than an anvil shot thing anyways, so... Probably for the better. If I make it. I really want to test out this, so I probably won't engage with any enemies.
No zombies are landing on me. It's hard to test something if I can't. I don't have anything to test it on. It's probably gonna go to Slum Lakes for the finisher. This guy, fucking idiot. He sees me through a wall and he's like, um, enemy. Damn it. Yeah, I don't think this thing's gonna be that worth it. It fires too oddly. Oh, right, the ship. Anyway, he's called it. Slum Lakes. Okay. When they're closer to the ship, I will go out of my way to help them. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. We actually might need to stay here. Yikes. Okay, we're down to six legends left. Three of us are together. The other three are in places. Oh, I can't mark that. Uh-uh. Oh my god. Okay. That's on me. The good news is the anvil receiver does a lot of damage. The bad news is... It's not worth it. Dude, if this crypto fucking lives... ...because he was the last person in that fight, I'm gonna be so mad. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this fucking guy! Where the fuck was he? Jesus. Are you even playing the game? <sighs> I think we'll just keep using automatic weapons. I think that's probably the call. Oh, we gotta return to the lobby manually. But yeah, using, like, the wingman's still really, really good. But when you get swarmed by, like, five of them, at that point, you might as well just be spraying and praying. So, now we're gonna try and keep an eye out for, uh... We're gonna try and keep an eye out for a machine gun. And if not a machine gun, then obviously R99 or an R301. We're never gonna use the- we're never gonna use the anvil receiver ever again in the zombie game, but The zombies do too much damage 100%. It can be a little ridiculous. People still escape. It really comes down to just like Playing in a way that makes it harder for zombies to kill you and 
it's just a different line of thinking from facing PvP players. But yeah, getting two shot does kind of suck. But in exchange, the zombies have like 30 health, so uh, if, you, if you land any shots... What about the guy that was still alive but didn't make it to the ship? Nope, he lost. You only win as a human if you make it out on the ship. Otherwise, you can just hide in a corner and just never be found. Where's the zone? It's on the right side of the map. Sick. That was sarcasm. We're turning around. I was about to be a forest scavenger or some shit. That would have sucked. Survival's not just for the living. Honestly, scout probably wouldn't be too bad either. I mean, it fires faster than a wingman and one shot zombies. It's just the whole worrying about dying to a human part that sucks. Because scout's good against them, but, you know, you have to land your shots, and it's always going to be a little easier to land automatic shots than it is going to be to land semi-automatic shots. Ah, oh, shit. Right over my cable. There we go. Right over my audio cable, so my audio started going out. Conduct it's a team up and survive. The problem is, at some point, like I, I, I don't like teaming mostly because, um, like I want squads, but I want it to be like an officially supported thing because otherwise people are just fucking teaming up randomly, and you can't possibly know that as a solo player that you're about to run into like fucking five to ten people who are working together when technically they aren't supposed to be. Like I'll always be wary around like 10 to 15 or 11 to 15 legends like if I want to shoot somebody I might just hold off but people teaming up at like 20 legends and shit you, uh, the game mode's just not meant for that because you're, you're supposed to get down to 10 legends to start this the escape sequence so if literally nobody's shooting each other first off no shadows exist second off the fucking escape sequence never starts So it, it's it's a it's a weird game mode. Ugh, I'm gonna have shit aim this game, guys. I just can't bring myself to sit up in the proper position. Get back. Come for 
Oof. That's a player. Maybe it's not. Oh, we're teammates. <laughs> That's good, because I didn't know that guy was there. Good luck out there, bro. Nah, I'll join him. Sit up here. What the fuck is that guy doing? Yep, my drone's gonna save the day. Honestly, that one actually helped. God, this is so far. Oh. I kind of, like, part of me really wants to stay with these fucking idiots behind me, but they're so far back. No, he fucked our teammate! EMP'd right next to them. <laughs> uh, what happened? Alright, so... There was a... Crypto running up to the escape ship with like three seconds remaining.
and another crypto set off an EMP. And if you don't know, EMP slows down anybody who's like hit by it, including your teammates. So he literally got fucking sent into just only being able to walk like maybe 10 feet away from the evac point and it left without him. Woo. That's good.